Breaking news. Germany has just invaded Poland. Nobody knows when or where they will stop. But they have also invaded places such as Belgium, the Netherlands, and Hungary. Nobody understands, though, why Hitler wants these places, especially Poland. Austria and Hungary people get because they know that Hitler wants to unite all ethnic Germans and German-speaking peoples. Poland, though, is anyone's guess. The, G the Polish government has also issued an official draft notice that will draft any able-bodied per person living in Poland to help in the fight against the German offense. If you get one of these drafts, you should report immediately to your nearest military installation and sign up to help. We need all the help we can get. In other news, the Nazis have started rounding up Jews, gays, colored people, di dis disabled people, and any other person that the Nazis do not like, or people who do not follow military orders, and round them up into ghettos, which are outside of many German-occupied towns. On behalf of the Polish government, please try to stay safe and stay away from any Germans you, do, you see. If you see a German military person, you should follow any orders they give you. They are known to be above the law set by the Nazis, and they can do anything they want with you. So please, do your best to stay safe. People are also fearing that though Britain and France have entered the war and declared war on Brit and Germany, they fear that they are not going to do anything. People also think that they are that because of this, that the world will be plunged into another great war. People are even calling it World War II, due to Japan's influence over China. Many people, though, still have hope for the war, and hopefully they think that Britain and France will intervene, and the war will be over, and that Germany will be no longer in power. Personally, I have just had it with Hitler. I have had it up to here with him. He is horrible, and he needs to leave office. Filthy Jew! We know you're in there! Come out now! You'll never take me alive! I guess you can. You'll never take me dead! Oh, come out, bro! Breaking news. As everyone knows, Germany has taken over Poland, and recently they have taken even more drastic measures. They started taking Jews from their very homes. Formerly Jew-owned homes and businesses have been handed over to pro-Nazi Poles. Some of the captured Jews are sent to the local ghetto, where they are forced to live in cramped quarters sometimes tend to a small apartment with no electricity, no running water, and barely enough food to stay alive. But those are the lucky ones. Some Jews uh, who are evicted from their homes are killed on the spot in cold blood. And others, Jews who are old, have lots of kids, any sort of disease or handicap, or who the Nazis just plain don't like, are sent straight to the camps. No one knows yet exactly what happens, but it is suspected that they are that they come out the chimney. Uh, reports from citizens living near the camps say that there is this constant screams and piles of dead bodies uh, always leaving the camps. And ones who are not incinerated are probably forced to do hard labor until they drop dead. Let's take a moment of silence for those who have already passed and those who will come to pass in, this, in these troubled times.
Um. <laughs> the Allied forces have invaded Normandy and France in the battle that is now known as D-Day. Thousands upon thousands of American and British troops alike were killed while trying to defeat the Germans at one of the last major German defenses. After this overwhelming defeat, the Germans have retreated from the Allied forces and are currently on the run. It seems like the end of the Second Great War may be drawing near any day now with the Soviets coming towards Germany from the east, liberating any death camps in their path, and the Americans coming from the west. In other news, the Germans have been killing as many Jews as possible, trying to eliminate any evidence of what they've, what they've done during the Second Great War. Also, any citizen that sees a Jew on the street has permission from the Polish government to kill that Jew on sight, and any person that is, car that is caught harboring a Jew on their property will be executed on the spot. And now for some interviews to give you a few different perspectives about the war. And then... Good job. Hi, I'm Manny Doty here. And I'm going to be interviewing Czeslaw. Czeslaw is a Polish man who was alive during the Holocaust living in Warsaw. You know, um, Czeslaw, what are your opinions on Jews? Well, honestly, I thought that Jews were no good, filthy scumbags who didn't deserve to live and took up too much space. That's a very radical opinion. Um, why? Wait. Why? Well, my parents always taught me that Jews would sneak into houses and Snatch children already at night. Um, okay then. Uh, what, what do you think of the German officials who were in charge of the death camps? What do you think should be done to them? Well, I think that they should be rewarded and treated as royalty. Oh, okay, that's different than what I'm assuming everyone was expecting. Um, well, like, what... What did you do if you saw a Jew on the streets? Well, I would get all my other Polish buddies and we would all take out baseball bats and break as many bones as we can. Why? Well, it was honestly a game. Like, different bones were different amounts of points and we'd see who could get the most points. Did, did, you, did you kill Jews? Well, yeah, we would finish them off after we were done breaking all their bones. I mean... Oh, okay, um, uh, that's, let's, let's, okay, this interview is over. Liam, Liam, come here, please. Hello, I'm here with Ibrahim, one of the survivors of the Auschwitz camp, notorious for being horrible and killing people. Tell us, Ibrahim, what was it like? in the Auschwitz death camp? It was terrible. They almost never fed us. We barely lived. We had to scavenge and steal from each other all the time. Some nights we had to resort to eating dirt. In the mornings they would sometimes have soup. If you didn't get there fast enough, all that would be left was the water. If you got there too quickly, all the vegetables would still be on the bottom and all you would get from the was and all you would get would be the water from the top. They they did checkups on us every couple of months. If they saw that we were unfit to work anymore, they would send us straight to the furnaces. People just kept being taken away. There was no point in making friends because they would all be dead and or gone the next day. We would always hear screams coming from a part of the camp. We think it might have been a medical experiment and they just, they would kill, they would let us die and then not clean up the, and then come to get us for weeks. They would record the amount of deaths that there were since the last checkup. They recorded everything. Horrible. How did you get out of Auschwitz? 
I got out during the death march. They lined us up and made us march for hours. Pe when people died, they just dropped. We just walked over them. We were fine. They finally let us go once Germany had surrendered. Um, I managed to meet up with my family, but on the road we were ambushed by angry Germans, resentful that the war was over. They, um, they just killed my entire family. I was able to get away in the chaos, but only me. Terrible. Horrible. Thank you, Ibrahim, for giving us insight on this horrifying thing that had to happen in history. Thank you very much. Coming up next is an interview with a German civilian who lived in Germany during World War II. Hello, my name is Oscar Ramirez, and I'm here to interview Klaus, who was a German civilian at the time of the Second Great War. Now, Klaus, what were some of your views of the Nazi soldiers? Mm. Well, I didn't necessarily agree with them, but mm, at the time I didn't really think of that about it too much. They generally just walked around town keeping an eye on all of us. If they thought someone was harboring Jews, they would just knock on their door and say, If you think you are harboring Jews, and they would go through your entire house, sometimes even steal things. They were above the law. Mm. In retrospect, I never really thought about it. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. How, how did you feel seeing that the ways that the Jews were treated? Well, I didn't necessarily see too much about how they were treated, but I got a really good look at the town, Kristallnacht. <sighs> Seeing all those homes and synagogues just in flames, I didn't understand why. I also lived to a town close to one of the concentration camps. Whenever I saw one of the chimneys, I just thought, they must be working them hard. And think they were killing them and them. Hmm. Well, interesting. Did you ever try to help any of the Jews that you saw on the street? Or? This thought crossed my mind a couple times, but it was against the law. I couldn't do anything, so I never did. Hmm. Huh. Well, okay then. What were some of your opinions on the Jews? I thought there was nothing wrong with them, but apparently Hitler found something wrong with them, so... I never understood why, so I never questioned it, because he was our leader, so I saw no reason to. Oh, okay then. What did you do to support your family while the war was going on? Hmm. We generally tried to keep our mind off the war act like nothing was going on, but seeing as there were always military around, that wasn't very easy. But we somehow got through it. Hmm. Okay then, thank you for your time Klaus.